The Crappy Quiz on Off The Ball with McDonald's Curry Sauce. Ireland's favourite curry sauce. Makes food taste unreal. Chris Martin. Oh, you're kidding me. September. Kyle Lafferty. Are you no! joking me? Is that right? I know. Is that right? Uh, anybody else? Leash, was it? Like, that is one of the most stupid questions. Darius Vassell? Seriously, you only need to just stay quiet. This is getting really annoying doing this quiz. What is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> Whew. Welcome, 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 welcome along to the shoutiest segment on a multitude of platforms, the scintillating, stupefying and splendido crappy quiz. As you know by now, the, we have a saucy new sponsor here. Uh, the crappy quiz is brought to you by McDonald's Curry Sauce, Ireland's favourite curry sauce. Whether your favourite is the original red tub, the new squeezy curry sauce or the curry noodles, you can't go wrong with McDonald's. Isn't that right, lads? Yum, yum, yum. Bit of curry sauce, yeah. Hard beat. You've heard from one of them. The most important part of any crappy quiz is, of course, the crappy quizzers. Allow me to introduce you to today's contestants. First up, back once again by popular demand of our viewers slash listeners, who could, I can only presume at this stage are out to sabotage the entire fine institution that is the crappy quiz. For the next half an hour, you'll get moaning, you'll get complaining, you'll get whinging, and you'll get a hell of a lot of wrong answers. Give it up for the foundation of the crappy quiz nation. Adrian, who's your daddy, Barry? I'd like to statistically... Um, so statistically, I know I don't win very many. I statistically, think, so. do you have these? You really don't. That you're about to <laughs> yeah, really accept don't. that. Well, Silla Wallan over there will, will, I'm sure, update me in no time at all. Check one. Um, so I accept that. That's that's fine. I have uh, I have of occasion even got into the final round chain ahead. Wow. Well, but uh, what happens but next? Just, uh, in I, the business it just, as Larry Gogan used to say, it just didn't suit you. Just the rapid fire just doesn't suit me. I'm yeah. not. Um, my brain is not quick enough to be able to have, think about it on the spot. Have you ever met Chris Waddle? Do you know that famous first line of the Gravity Quiz intro sting that we all, we've all just heard? There is your your answer, Chris Waddle, from many many moons ago. Just wondering, is does he know what a cultural part he plays in our? Sporting heritage in our crappy quiz heritage. I'm glad you said. I'd say the Royce Vassell is doing very well, isn't I'd he? I'd say so. Yeah. I'd say he's right kept right alive so. mainly by uh, <laughs> crappy his quiz thing. The crappy quiz thing. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah. the overall point that I was making, and it's not a moan or a gripe before, like it gets, I'm about to use a bad word there, but uh, tagged under that particular category. Like I just wonder, on a question by question ca- uh, case there, Bill. Where I sit in the overall, so if you could get your maid onto that, will to see right. each question. You've had, a, you've had 104 appearances, Stroke play, if you Adrian. Stroke, Stroke play. play. You this is 104 right. appearances in the YouTube. No, era. I'm, I'm not looking for an answer to that previous question. No, no, no. Three wins, you and you've got two wins in the last three years. <laughs> I know, that's not true. That's not true. That's not, that's not true. No, it's 104 about, appearances and then you've had two, on, two wins in the last It's about two, two and 35. It's not what I was asking for. Any. I was asking for stroke play. Two and 35, right. Although, you did win four in a row back in 2020. What was going on there? What was happening there? Was COVID, there was no, there was no other contestants. She and, she and uh, backhanders. Oh, no, 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 come on now. Come you know, how do you think he's paying for this trip around South America? The rest of us were off with COVID. Away from me. There was no other contestants. I did enjoy one of our correspondents last week who said Adrian Barry probably thought the Leaving Star questions were more difficult for him than anyone else that year. It's funny you should say that, Will. Yeah. <laughs> Another thing. Many minutes are we in here because that's the longest Will's ever gone without mentioning one of the commenters. There you go. At least <laughs> at least three minutes there, Mick, before we got wow. to Wow. And the leaves the are... Shade of the day. Let's go to our second contestants. The leaves are back in the trees. The grass is starting to grow. Lambs are jumping in the fields and questions over Conor McManus's fitness dominate every kitchen table conversation. Yes, it's a lovely time of year in Monaghan. A time of hope before familiar heartbreak inevitably strikes. And so we welcome our next contestant. The happiest he'll be all year for a few days anyway. It's Shane, the Monaghan machine. Eddie Hanna. How are things? It's always lovely in Monaghan. It's always a lovely week in Monaghan. Until Throne come to town. Ah, we're, not, we're going to their town. We're going to Oman. We're going to take them. We're going to take them. You heard it here first. There we go. And last. So maybe yeah. next week he'll be happy too. But it, it, it's, look, the heartbreak's only, it, it's just an indiscriminate amount of time. Just prolong it. Prolong the yeah. inevitable. How yeah, did yeah. the 20s go during the week? 20s. Let's not talk about the 20s. The 20s lost it down after two good wins over our man, Cav and lads. Come on. It's all just about building. It's going to be a big really? summer. We've got a country music fest to look forward to in Monaghan Town as well in a few months. Oh, so yeah, like, who's headlining that? Ah, I don't know. One of them. Carter, <laughs> Den- of them. One of them. Derek Ryan. One of the big lads. Tom has unfortunately shuffled no off the mortal. That's, uh, the Stony Grey soil. Shuffled off the Stony Grey soil. I apologise to Big Tom in hologram form. <laughs> big Tom. What was his surname? Tom. McBride. McBride. Tom McBride, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not quite... Uh, what's the famous one? I'd say it's no offence taken. Uh, well, Owen man G. Man on the Moon. Yeah, Owen G. And one said Neil Big Armstrong. Tom and the Mainliners. Yeah. 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 They had to, do you remember that story? They had to. They were called Big Tom and the Mainliners and they had to change their name when they went to the US because you couldn't... Uh, mainlining in the US is a whole it's other... Uh, completely different, yeah. yeah. 
What did they actually. change your name to? Fun that's fact. The, that's the first quiz question of the day for you. Big Tom McBride and his band. I have no idea. And his band. <laughs> if you'd known that, we'd nearly given you a point. <laughs> Finally, we've a man who's had a bee in his bonnet recently about the shadowy quiz master that he keeps calling out. Well, no longer in the shadows. But luckily, that quiz master doesn't hold a grudge or a thirst for revenge in any way, shape or form. He is quite simply the most popular dinner dance host in the Midlands. It is Larry... Will Larry Burr O'Callaghan? <laughs> Larry, <laughs> Larry, Larry Will O'Callaghan. Larry Will, Larry Will, Will Larry. Larry Will O'Callaghan sounds like somebody who could front that festival. <laughs> he could. <laughs> Actually, he does, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Budweiser belt buckle. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Other yeah. beers exist. Larry Will O'Callaghan yeah. on his band. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's. Write that down that's for a next week. That's a new nickname. Good cut jeans, brown shoes. <laughs> well, we get to this. As ever, the format is the classic crappy quiz with a series of questions over a range of teams. It's onto the sip and side trivia, the egalitarian, never unfair, rapid fire round. You can podcast the crappy quiz on the Off The Ball app. And if you're listening on radio, you can watch this farce unfold in glorious Technicolor by subscribing to our channel on YouTube. And by subscribing, you can leave all the comments that Will will pour over over the next week or so I and bring no us the best of that. on next week's quiz. <laughs> uh, please send any questions you have via postcard to the crappy quiz quiz master Off The Ball Towers, Marconi House, Diggs Lane, Dublin 2. Now... We haven't got one in a long time. I'm back to start. I'm back to thinking that people think this is a funny joke in the middle of the script, as opposed to an actual call out for questions. People think it's so a bit, yeah. Send us your postcards, your side of a rice crispy box, your end of a beer box, whatever it might be. Just put a stamp on it and our address, and it'll get to us. Round one, the not boring questions round, as Jer insisted on it being called. Oh. Never multiple choice, and today's questions all relate to captains. Question one for Adrian. Who was the Republic of Ireland captain for our first major tournament appearance, Euro 88? Oof. Right in the height of your football fandom. Mm. Yeah, that's a good point. I was 11. That's a bad question, is it? You were 11 at Euro 88. Mm. Aging yourself there. That's just, I'm not aging. Age that's just age. That's not much I can do about it. Just he knows the answer. He's just going to stall yeah, in. Yeah. Um, bit of showmanship here. Yeah. I'll go with fantastic Big Mick. That it's a kind of a he was the, Mick McCarthy was the trap here, right? And I felt who, who was the captain it. before Mick McCarthy? Mm. We scored and they didn't. Frank Stapleton. Oh, I have to say I would have been guessing a long time to get Frank. Yeah, 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 yeah fair. <clears throat> right, nil for Adrian. Question one for Shane, who was named the 1997 Lions Tour ca- uh, Lions Tour of South Africa captain despite not yet being captain of his national team. Ooh. Woody? No. Oh. Woody wasn't Lions captain. Martin Johnson. Ah. Who would have captained them again in 01 when he was England captain. Right, question one for Will. As we all know, the Ryder Cup captain is among the most crucial in all of sport and not at all filled with self-importance. Name two of the five Ryder Cup captains from either team that have gone through this terrible ordeal more than once. And that's going since GB and I became Europe in 1979. So nothing from uh, the olden days. You needn't worry about the olden days. Five options. Anyone to pick two? Adrian? Five options. What yeah. Take this. I would say hard. That's. I'd say two hard. of them are famously good. So, yeah. yeah, uh, either US or European. Exactly. Yeah. So there's five options altogether. They've gone back to the well. So the only multiple Ryder Cup captains. Is that it? Yeah. Si- yeah. In, since the Europe versus USA days. Hmm. It was a lot before that, so mm, that's yeah, hence yeah. the. Sometimes there is a, what sounds like an arbitrary line in the sand. These yeah. questions, and it's because I don't want to write out four hundred answers. <laughs> I think we're headed for a zero 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 around here. I think <laughs> I think we are. Uh, You'll know these when you hear them. I'll I try promise. one though. Did Bernard Gallagher... Johnson was an easy question, by the way, wasn't it? Probably the easiest on paper. Out there. I would agree with that. I will go ahead, lads, would you? There, which I didn't make, but that was pretty. Stop. Did Bernard Gallagher do it twice? Yes, he did. We're one up. Oh. He did it three times actually. Mm. It's me trying to remember back to like the Ryder Cup videos that you watch the week of the Ryder Cup and they talk about multiple captains and stuff. Uh, there has to be a few US ones that did it a couple of times. Bernard Gallagher was the set platter to this person's <laughs> avalanche. Oh no. Well, I don't know if that's that's a terrible comparison. <laughs> oh. Took over from him. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, sorry, there's loads of people. Yeah. Did Chrissy O'Connor do it twice? No. No, I think he did it at all. No, certainly not in that era. Who was the US one that did more than one? Uh, Jack Nicholas and Tom Watson. Nicholas, 
you forgot about Tom Watson coming back <laughs> yeah, to watch Tom, the Phil yeah. Mickelson chagrin a few years ago. Yeah. Uh, John Jacobs was the first two I have from Europe. I don't know him, but Tony Jacklin was the one who ah. was the kind of long time Ryder Cup captain. Mr. Um, Mr. Ryder Cup. Exactly. The Open Champion 1970. So, nil all. Don't even need to check this. Is that right, yeah? Oh, yeah. Of all the extra bits of info here. Thanks for that. Yeah. I mean, you didn't ask that question. I, I like that, though. When it is nil all, I think the Lister could probably do with you throwing out the yeah, odd bit of yeah. sporting facts just to know that you're not at all charlatans. Exactly. Uh, okay, round two. Is the Wikipedia round the game as simple? I will list from Wikipedia in order from Love first to last. This stresses me out. This is Adrian's. This is where Adrian gets his points. But, yeah, all the stress isn't worth it. Anyway, clubs a uh, player has played for. All you have to do is guess the footballer in question first person to do so will win the point one major rule to avoid the carnage of a guessing free for all each contestant must state their own name before guessing a player of course it's the crappy quiz which means that we need your crappy quiz nicknames which is who's your daddy Larry Will <laughs> Mana and Machete and we'll stick for one more week anyway at least with Larry Burr <laughs> I just named my fancy hurling team after that so it's staying as this for now Failure to do so will eliminate the contestant from that particular round of the quiz, and I will actually do that here because that's been a that's been a, a loosely Oof. Oof. loosely held rule. Mm. First question: Whoever shouts her name first, this player started his professional career with Charlton Athletic. Who's your daddy? Yes, Mark Kinsler. It's not no. right. Machete. Scott Parker. No. Okay. Yeah, go on next. Uh, he then moved to Liverpool. Well, well, Larry Burr. Uh, Danny Murphy. No. Machete. Yeah, Paul Konchesky. No. He had a loan... Now, who's your daddy? Go on. <laughs> Emil Heskey. No, Emil Heskey. <laughs> like famously played for Leicester for about 20 years. He had a loan spell with Blackpool. His next move then was from Liverpool to Swansea City. Oh. Who's no. your daddy? Oh, no, go on. No, it's not. Sorry, no. Okay. Go on next He month. then moved to Newcastle United. Shelley. Yeah. John Joe Shelby. Yes! Uh, well he done. wasn't confident there at all, but well done. He now plays for Nottingham Forest. And we are off the mark. I thought we were going to have a nil on the Wikipedia round there. It took a while. And I dare say we one. may in the next question, Arthur. What do you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of clubs to come here, lads, so don't don't be worrying about the early guesses as all. Is my only bit of advice here, okay? <laughs> Next question, whoever sh- shouts their name first. Started his professional career with Estrella de Amadora. Who's your daddy? Yes. Fernando Torres. No. <laughs> he then moved to Benfica. I'm pretty sure Estrella de Amadora isn't in... Who's your daddy? Go on. Deco. <laughs> no. Good guess, though. He then moved to Barry on loan. He then moved to... Who's your daddy? Larry Burr? <laughs> Adrian Warner. first. Um, Ravinelli? No. Figo? Figo, a more reasonable guess, but also wrong. He then moved to... No, he did. No, he said did. They said it together. They said it together and then, yep. Yeah. Um, he moved to Real Oviedo. We're getting now... In a minute, Who's you'll actually daddy? reckon. What? David Villa? No. He then moved to PSV. Some, some great clubs this guy Jesus yeah. Christ what a range of okay. countries Jesus yeah he then moved to Everton who's your daddy Mikel Arte- no it's not no after Everton he moved to Liverpool oh Larry Burr it's yes. Xavier oh wow good shot, good shot, I yeah. didn't see that coming wow he then went to Galatasaray Hanover 96 Roma Middlesbrough and finished his career with LA Galaxy. What a career. That's could have been Ravinelli after all. <laughs> could have been, should have been, should have been. Mm. Could have, would have, should have. It, it absolutely couldn't have been Good Ravinelli, answer. but no, the Middlesbrough thing, I suppose, is in there, yeah. Jesus Christ, he must be minted. <laughs> yeah, a lot of moves. <laughs> that is a lot so of like, And also, like, Benfica, PSV, Liverpool, Barry. Galatasaray, Roma. He's lived it up. It's a lot LA Galaxy. Oh, like, big clubs, yeah. Yeah. Middlesbrough, of course. Okay, last one. Who shouts their name? <sighs> Loudest, I was going to say, but first is probably more yeah. reasonable. Uh, the last player started his professional career with Sheffield United. No? Larry Burr. Larry? No, on, on, Larry, no, no, on, no, no, no. First, wasn't Larry Burr was in first. Who? David Unsworth? No. John Sheridan? No. David Unsworth, I think, was like had a full career behind him before he went to Sheffield United. Uh, he then moved to Hull City. Who's Shetty. Oh, I think that was a machete with a rare guess. Was it Harry Maguire? Oh! Oh, good one. Wow. Come on. 
on loan to Wigan, Leicester City, and Barnaby Manchester United. <laughs> mm. 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 Harry Maguire, well done. Right, so Shane leads with two points. Uh, Adrian still to get off the mark. Will on one. Finally poised as we take an ad break, I think. Is it time for the ad break, Ar- Arthur? Yeah, Arthur tells me it is. And we will be back in just a minute with the Pass the Parcel round. The Crappy Quiz on Off The Ball with McDonald's Curry Sauce. Ireland's favourite curry sauce. Makes food taste unreal. The Crappy Quiz on Off The Ball with McDonald's Curry Sauce. Ireland's favourite curry sauce. Makes food taste unreal. Welcome back to The Crappy Quiz. Dear listener and viewer, who of the three contestants would you say was moaning about the difficulty of the questions during the ad break? <laughs> Just leaving it out there. You might guess, you might not. I don't know. It, it could be a hard guess. Round three. Can I defend Adrian slightly here for a second? Because I forgot to mention that this happened two weeks ago. I bumped into a real-life crappy quiz fan on the way home last Friday week, mm. and he actually said the questions were hard two weeks ago. Didn't catch your man's name. Yeah. He was going to Athlone on the train. A hey, Barry. Yeah, it, was, uh, it was not Adrian. I don't know if it was, was a member of Adrian's extended family. Uh, but he said, geez, the, the questions were pretty hard today. <laughs> to be fair, I, in the ad break, was saying they were hard for everybody. Collectively. Uh, no, you were. Yeah, well, they were, actually, in fairness, actually, they were collective questions. And actually, so, it was a compliment, have to, be. Was a compliment <laughs> yeah, to my rather, 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 rather colleagues over here. That Thank you, Adrian. No, that's, that. that's fair. And they did. They, got, they, they, they managed to get three points between them. They did. Fair in, in, in that round. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> the pass the parcel of doom round. In this round, all you have to do is give me a name that is on a list of names that I have and the parcel... Oh, a parcel of doom passes on to the next contestant who then also has to give me a name we will keep it moving until one of you give me an incorrect answer at which point the parcel explodes and you will be eliminated and shamed forever and ever when two players eliminate the remaining player as Jer often says after all that effort gets one single solitary point for the first round Adrian has gone first then Shane then Will and I want European major winners in golf since 1990 Ooh. 1990 until this very day Paddy Hedge. Yes, Porrick Harrington. Uh, Rory McIlroy. That's right. Shane you, Lowry. You've knocked off seven. You've knocked off eight majors there in that time. Uh, Graham McDowell. Graham McDowell. Go on, Shane. Darren Clark. There we go. There's all the Irish ones <laughs> out of the way. Let's go to the other European countries. Might as well. Oh, um, I've lost the quiz. Ooh, that's not good. That's good. I'll go for a guy that won the Irish winners doesn't like Sergio Garcia uh, yeah I genuinely have lost the quiz here so this is a problem okay we're back talk That's among good. yourselves who's next uh, Will you went and see Adrian next yeah. so we've had who were the last two names uh, Garcia and Clark perfect Sergio Garcia Adrian uh, John Ram correct now we're going from the uh, Irish Nick, to the Spanish. Nick Faldo. Nick Faldo. Correct. Six time major champion. Savi Ballesteros? Nope. Savi no. Ballesteros last uh, major, I think, was in 1988. Oh, wow. wow. That was strong. won the early 90s. Wow. Who's next? That would be you, Adrian. Who's your daddy? Barry. That'd be Justin Rose. Justin Rose, US Open champion, one of those years. Um. A man who loves the snooker like myself, Danny Willett. Danny Willett, yeah. Son of a preacher man. Mm. Masters champion. Hasn't been seen since. Um, Fleetwood. No, and you've guessed Tommy Fleetwood as a major oh, champion just... before, and you've been told that he never Jesus won a major. Christ. Uh, I don't know what the question was then, but that is not right. Had you any more, Shane? Say a few, did you? Uh, Jesus, I was. Uh, if I had to think of the Masters winners, well, in case he didn't win one, did he? No. No, no. Oh. fair enough. We had Bernard Langer, 93 Masters, to follow up on his 85 Masters. We had Ian Woosnam, 91. Uh, Olaf Abal won two think about Masters. Him. I think the Masters dominated by your... Paul Laurie, 1999 Open. Martin Keimer won two majors. Henrik Stenson won the Open. Francesco Molinari won the Open. And Matt Fitzpatrick won last year's Washington. US Open. Yeah. Okay, so Shane gets the point Shit. there as we move on to a grim question, I would say, lads, because this list isn't very long. Shane then Will, then Adrian. Irish players who have made an appearance, at least at least one appearance in the Premier League this season. This season? This season. Uh, Evan Ferguson. Yes. Pizzuno. Yes. Egan. Uh, oh, 
Johnny even plays for Sheffield United. Oh, Bloody hell. <laughs> Me, you didn't it? think there at all. I did not think. Um, getting the easy ones out of the way. Bloody hell. Shamey Coleman. Yes, James Coleman. How many are left, Mick? Uh, there are three or four. Nine. Nine? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I will say that other than there aren't too many appearances left, yeah, but there's yeah. nine players. I'll go Nathan Collins. You'll go correctly with Nathan Collins. Go Matt Doherty. Yeah. That's the top five in terms of appearances out of the way now. Did he play before he went on loan? Uh, Will Smallbone? No. Didn't play before he went. No, he went early on loan. Uh, Kelleher played... Um, Malumbi didn't either, did no. he? Uh, Kelleher played at some point, no? Well, Injury or... No, no, Kelleher actually I thought would be on the team, but he hasn't right? played so far this year, at least in the Premier League. Mark Travers. Oh, yeah. yeah. Joe Hodge. Shane Duffy. Oh, yeah. Of Tom Cannon played a couple of games off the bench for Everton before he went. Connor Coventry, likewise, with um, West, West Ham. Ham. Andy Moran, Andrew Moran for Brighton. Mm. Um, not the Leitrim manager. And Connor Ronan at Wolves. So Interesting. I'll take it. I'll take it. Another point for Shane. Shane, by honestly, default, it'll be 4 1. As we go to. We've enjoyed the pairings round in the last couple of weeks, I would say. So we've one more for you before I run out of them to ask Will then Adrian then Shane Champions League final pairings since 1993 the first Champions League final of course ok uh, I will go Real Madrid against Juventus yes twice 98 and then one of the five in a row which I, of which I don't remember um, three in a row sorry I would go Uh, Chelsea Liverpool. No. Oh. Oh. How do you not get one Champions League final? Who was the old Premier League? Well, you're just guessing. Well, I'm not going to tell you now. But the answers in a second. Okay. Few old Premier League ones. Chelsea Liverpool. Right. Now that was the semi final. Semi final. Uh, two legs. Rotten football. Yeah. Right, Adrian. This could be a big fat zero. I commit my own. The numbers mixed. Don't you worry. Shane next. Then. What to me next? Sorry. Um, Jeez, I can't believe we didn't get through one Champions League final. Yeah, hey, I gave you one. Liverpool, no. Real Madrid. I don't mean you. Liverpool, Real Madrid twice, yes. I will go for Manchester United against Chelsea. Uh, Manchester United versus Chelsea, I think possibly the one that Adrian was talking was about. Liverpool, 2008. Chelsea, semi final, yeah. I was thinking about. Sure. Um, Manchester United, Bayern Munich. Yes. What year was that, Shane? It was 99. Manchester. 26th of May. 1999. Manchester United against Barcelona. Yes. Some of us remember that better than the those two matches better than the Manchester United Bayern Munich games. Go with um, Arsenal Barcelona. Arsenal Barcelona. 2006. Uh, Ronaldinho. I will go AC Milan versus Liverpool. Yeah. 05 and 07. Tottenham versus Liverpool. Tottenham versus Liverpool. 19, wasn't it? Uh, AC Milan versus Juventus. Uh, oh, three. Yes, Penalties. a horrific one, Ultra. I, f- I feel like this could go on a while. Is that what we're... <laughs> That's what we're aiming for. That's what we're aiming for. Aim to please. There's no excuses here, is what the box says. Mm-hmm. In fairness, I have to say, lads, I didn't. I wrote these out and then checked them afterwards. <laughs> I didn't get one wrong. Um, Chelsea Bayern. Chelsea Bayern, yeah. The only thing I got wrong was I mixed up the Chelsea Bayern year with the one that came the year after. Mm. Okay. Uh, I'll go Bayern against Dortmund. Which was that game. Correct. Yeah. Great days drinking that was, lads. I played golf at 8 o'clock in the morning, right? And went straight out afterwards and hung around the kind of general Lansdowne Road area, Haddington Road. Leinster were playing Ulster in a Pro 40, or whatever it was called, final. And then watch that, then watch the Champions League final, and then watch Carl Froch against uh, Kessler. I think it wasn't his eighty thousand Wembley sellout. Was no, it? it was it was an arena game. God, it was one of the best days drinking of all time. <laughs> what a day! Um, I'm gonna go Chelsea Man City. <laughs> uh, Chelsea Man City, yeah. There it is. Last one written down. I'll go the Madrid derby, Atletico and Real. The Madrid derby two times in three years. 
I'll go with Porto Monaco. Porto Monaco, 04, the weirdest Champions League final of all time. Barcelona against Juventus. We're flying here, lads. It's 2015. You're, you're, you've got a good few from the olden days to still go for. I was going to say, um, two more, one, one more modern final, and then two, and then one from kind of recent-ish times. Uh, Real by Leverkusen. Yes, that was correct. 2002. Uh, good Leverkusen team. Lucio Balak. Mm. Uh, oh, great. Someone else. Someone else really good. I'll go Juventus and Ajax. Berbatov. A young Berbatov, I would say. I don't know if he was playing. What? Juventus versus Ajax? Yes, Juventus Ajax. Oh, there was another Brazilian guy. What was his name? Zeroberto. He was on that team, I think. Okay. Right, we have. We're doing really well here, but so it's many taking a long time. One, two, three, seven. four, five, six, seven. There's still eight to go. My trouble now is what's been said and what's not been said. So now I'm trust. I'm at the point where I'm trusting my note taking, which is never a good place to be. Come on, let's get on with it. <laughs> my fault. How many more have you written down? Um, I mean, I to be fair, I went out early, but I was not going to be living in this rarefied air, so I was better off. Out of hey, may I put the pressure on here? Mate. Better off with uh, Chelsea, Liverpool. Yeah, come on, it is time up now. Okay, I'll go for uh, Barca AC. Yes. 1994. There was a lot of uh, heads lifted there. <laughs> yeah. Waiting for me to fall. 4 0. Yeah. There you go. Dor- Stevicevic. Dortmund against Juventus. Yes. 97. The Paul Lambert final, as it's known internationally. Mm. Karl Heinz Riedler. What have I not said? Jesus, lad. Not many left now. Four. four no. <clears throat> six left. Well, let's put them on the clock. 93, we said, was the starting point, is it? Yeah. Bayern Real. Bayern Real. He's just throwing shit out now. Never happened. No. No. Tell Bayern that he's will. just throwing it That's out That's a well-earned He's point. looking at the paper as if to go, like, yep, what if I knock that one off? <laughs> yeah. Eddie Moore will? Uh, do, do, do. I was trying to think of who... Did Marseille play against Milan? Yes, that was the yeah, first one. Yeah, I would have got that one. That makes yeah. me feel a bit better. Uh, Ajax versus AC Milan yeah, me too yeah. mm. <laughs> surprised Adrian didn't get that one didn't he, have lo- the rest. he, lo- he loves a Patrick yeah. Clivert guess uh, Ajax <laughs> Milan was my Real Madrid Valencia Bayern Munich Valencia Valencia's two uh, back to back years oh, yeah. uh, Inter Milan Bayern Munich the Mourinho 2010 yeah, one Marlito. and then nobody got the Covid one which was uh, Bayern Munich and PSG, PSG. oh yes alright so the scores are Shane's on four Will's on two and Adrian uh-uh. Not far behind on zero. Fun, free, magic number round. Contestants get three points for getting the number exactly right. If nobody manages that, the nearest contestant who go, doesn't go bust gets two points. The second closest gets one. Again, I'm going to state that we can only accept the answer that's written on your paper. I'm going to have to ask for your pens once the music ends. So if you don't mind, please give us the following number. The number of shots over par Rory McIlroy finished last week's Masters plus the number of Ulster All-Ireland football titles this century, plus huh? the so number of Ulster all Ar- U- Ulster won All-Ireland finals oh, sorry. titles okay. this century, uh, plus the number of caps Denise O'Sullivan has won for Ireland, plus the number of All-Star awards won by TJ Reid so far. Your 30 seconds expire when Sinatra sings Bright Shiny Beads. So, how many shots over par was Rory? Ulster All Ireland football titles this century since 2000. Denise O'Sullivan's amount of caps and TJ Reid's All Stars. That's what we're looking for here. Bang Wills had his pen down about five minutes. Shane's pen down, just the, the bravado had to keep up there. Yeah. Ego. Yeah. Ego. Ego. He's done it, don't be. <laughs> okay, Adrian, you may as well go first then. You can't change anything. 101. 101. Shane. 115. 117. Oh, Will's very close there. The answer is 118. Ooh. Will gets uh, two points. Shane gets one, which actually is. Perfect for rapid fire rounds. Uh, 
I undershot. I, I deliberately undershot the runway on Denise Sullivan's appearances. Where I'm you gave her sure. her exact amount of appearances. I think is your answer. It's one hundred and one, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I, uh, I yeah, went. I under. She had her hundredth cap. It was in the I news this I week. I got the one, and then she played another game. Never eighty caps. Okay. carried the one. Roy McIlroy finished. I had six. I was wrong. I had four. Five, Five over. Yeah. Yeah. Ulster All Ireland's six, six seven. seven six. Yeah. Oh. Tyrone's yeah. Thrones four four. Arma. Gunny Gall and Armagh. Yeah. 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 Uh, two for them. Denise O'Sullivan, as Will has already mentioned, has a hundred and one Ireland caps, and TJ Reid one four. Six all six. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure yeah, that's why. So there we go. One eighteen was the answer. Will gets two points. That puts him on to four. Shane's on five. And Adrian. Oh, look, Adrian, I've eight questions in here if I can get her through. I normally only have seven, right? So you what? can possibly get to eight. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, that is possible. And that, that would make Shane need four to win, like, which isn't a guarantee, you know? I said at the very start of this five. that the rapid fire didn't right, suit me. So. Five, well, yeah, but nothing suited five. you today. So no, maybe it's not. Maybe we're in opposite land. Questions didn't suit me. Uh, anyway, sorry, I better explain that. Oh, so he's getting eight and we're getting seven then. then. Yeah, but look, I generally will only get through seven questions well, in the 20 second time. What are you okay? worried about? Winner tonight will be decided no team in particular ridiculous easy rapid fire round. Yeah, he's honestly five shots behind you. Like. <laughs> you have um, to Shots. I'll be watching too much golf. <laughs> um, you'll each have a rapid fire round, 20 seconds, one point for each correct answer. Delaying uh, or getting a wrong answer won't cost you a point because you're harming nobody but yourself. We'll start with the player, the lowest score, which is. I should start putting this back in the band section. Ah, it's, it's, it's question marks at the moment, which is Adrian Barry, <laughs> and then the next lowest, and we'll continue like He's that. He's already thrown his pen and his page, so there's nothing left. Adrian, disgusting. are you ready? My AirPods are going next. Uh, I'm good to go. Your time starts now. <laughs> hold on, hold on, yeah. let's stop, stop. Whoa, 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 keep it rolling, whoa. keep it rolling. Yeah, go on there, yeah. Come on. Your time starts now. What club does David Clifford represent? Fasa. He Got Game is a movie primarily about what sport? American football. Basketball. Paul McShane is from what county? Wicklow. Who won the 2022 Europa League? Probably Sevilla. No. Simon Zebo played for what French team? Uh, Racing. Before John Ram, who was the last Spaniard to win the Masters? Uh, laughable. Who? A laughable. No. I thought Sergio. you said laughable, which was describing uh, your round. Sergio. What did, you, what did you just say there? Who was the last Spaniard after John Ram to win the match? Ah, sorry. Okay, right. Okay, okay. Okay. What was the next one? Give, hit me up with the rest of them. No, oh, no. I'll keep them for hit next week. Uh, <laughs> you, don't know, you try writing 22, 21 <laughs> rapid fire questions every week. Uh, did we get them all right? No, we got the 2022 Europa League was Eintracht Frankfurt. He got game is uh, Denzel Washington and uh, Ray Allen about basketball. And you got the rest of them right. Yeah, you got three, did he? Okay, so you got three overall, and that puts you on to an overall score of three. That bumps me up to three. And, Matt's there. Um, <laughs> yeah, so you are officially last, no matter what happens here. Okay. Whatever. Pressure's off. Will, are you ready? The wooden spoon. I'm ready. This matters now. Okay, so your time starts now. State of Origin is an annual series of games in what sport? Rugby League. Who is the current men's French Open tennis champion? Rafa Nadal. What Spanish club did John Aldridge play for? Real Sociedad. Offaly last won the senior All-Ireland title in what year? Which club? Football, 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 sorry. Oh, football, 1982. What club is Tom Cannon currently on loan with? Preston North End. What club does Courtney Brosnan play for? Oh, she played. The question was asked, so I can answer it. Yes. Uh, Courtney Brosnan plays for Everton. Yes, and I will ask you the other one because I messed up the uh, the awfully question. The football was in the question. Apologies. Controversial. Oof. No, Controversial. no, no. It's, 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 it, I made a mistake. He actually had to clarify that that I would have easily have started at the end to think about Everton. I, as well. no, fair enough, but I would have easily have started the next question, which is unfortunately a very easy question for controversy's sake. Who is the manager of the Clare Hurlers? Brian Lone. Okay, so you did get eight. That's it. Did you get seven. them all? You got seven, yeah, so I think. Yeah. No, you got seven. Yeah. So that seven puts him onto a. That puts him onto what? Including that three minutes at the end there. You did. Oh, you got you. <laughs> Eleven. Eleven. <laughs> Jesus. Come okay. on, now, Will. So hold on. It's always a winning score. You though. need six to tie seven to win. Like I mean, this is you know this is this is like that Man City Liverpool title race where everyone had to, yeah. had to win every game. It's true. And the leaders did. Stay I, on. I assume one, he, he gets an awful question, so I'm going to get him on. Well, I, like, I don't know who's going to be in what position. I knew I was going to be in the lead, and Adrian was going to be last. Ah, uh, get out. So therefore, <laughs> Will was going to be in second. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't actually. And actually, Default. I didn't. I asked the uh, the uh, Arthur to rearrange the questions to make them fair. So Ooh. I don't know if you. I never know where to look. Where's the? We never got around to it. Sorry. Okay. You need everyone. Although one wrong will call will bring in a dreaded tiebreaker. Okay. okay. Your time starts now. 
Who captained England to the 1966 World Cup? Bobby Moore. Trevor Brennan played for what French team? Racing. No. Well, who was the manager of the Galway footballers? Uh, Paul Joyce. In what year did Rory McIlroy last win a major? 2014. Who Mo Salah signed for, for Liverpool from what club? Ajax. No. What club does Stephen Cluxton play for? Uh, Parnells. Who will La Rochelle play in the semi-final of the Heineken? Next up. You got five. Oh. You got five. Mo Salah signed from? Just did Super. Roma. Roma. Oh, of course. Jesus. So if I got that, it would have been a... And Trevor Brennan played for wins. Toulouse. Yeah. That's, there was a chance there, Shane. I think you could have got there. There was a chance. Got them. Will I wish it was two off. I have to say, off. usually, usually it's about the loser. If you can get that bonus, would you tie? Yeah, I think that's unfair. That's very unfair. I have to say, I do think that is unfair. But sure, did, did, did unfair. I not mess up a question? Would you have not got? It, it wasn't messed up. It was a tiny stumble. It was a very miniature stumble. I would very want to unfair. Wasn't a tiny he had to, he had to ask, ask literally ask <laughs> YouTube commenters. Got like thirty seconds at the end to answer a question. I would think you that's... would you have known Courtney Brosnan quicker? Yeah, I would have definitely. Ah, I did. Nah, 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 took, nah. took ages. To YouTube think commenters, this is a disgrace. No, I, I disagree, lads. I, I, I think that I'm was a fair. Arthur, from... Arthur, Arthur in the box agrees fair. with me as well. I there. think Shane had ample opportunity. He was given seven very fair questions. He got five of them. He did okay. No. And unusually, disagree. It's more about the winner getting seven out of seven in this after fire than it is about the loser. Observer from Odie, okay, Odie Murphy and Maguire. I think and, if uh, I think if any of us had five seconds to no. tell you where Courtney Brosnan played her football, we'd all get it. Music is playing. Folks, There's no controversy. Oh, I think that's all seven seven. Don't Shane forget to check out our Twitter joke. to be even the chance of winning joke. McDonald's. Joke. Oh, Hands are sauce. flying in anger. <laughs> they fell in clown ship earlier on. Again, we put the camera. Farcical. <laughs> We're out of time. We're going to be back with another. Cancel the quiz. Can- hashtag cancel the quiz. <laughs> The Crappy Quiz on Off The Ball with McDonald's Curry Sauce. Ireland's favourite curry sauce. Makes food taste unreal.